What's up, everybody? It's the week before Thanksgiving, and I know you guys want to talk about bushings versus bearings. So here we go. OE bushing has a parasitic spring rate. That rubber has to flex every time that arm moves. You see, it wants to return back to where it was. That's not good. We're going to go through how to get this guy out of here. We're just going to start by folding in these two edges right here, and that's going to allow us to press that thing out from the other side. So you can see these bushings are installed from one way and they have a little flange we call it. So we have to fold that flange over to expose the arm underneath and then we can use our tool just to press it out like it's no problem. So here we go we're gonna start by folding it inward with an air chisel. We're gonna secure it in a vise and we're going to take that lip and just fold it over gradually with the blows of the hammer. So you can see we're using a flat chisel end on an air chisel. This is actually an Ingersoll Rand air chisel. It's one of the nicer ones we found. You could get a cheap Harbor Freight one though. Probably do about the same. Uh, Ingersoll Rand is just a little bit easier to control. So we fold that guy over. Looks like this. We're going to flip it around. Do the other side. And it's just an easy progressive folding over of that flange. We're just kind of working it over. I've muted the sound here so that it's kind of easier to, to talk over it. But you just start horizontally and you slowly get it to vertical. And then once both sides have been done the same way, take it in the vise. Get a little bite on that on that edge there. Make sure you're not on the arm, but you're just on the bushing cup. And you just squeeze those two things together until you've got enough of a platform to put on your press plates. So here we've got one that we pressed out already, and this is the one that we're gonna press. And we're gonna take that over to our 15 ton get going. This is our nice Turn Pro 15 ton shot press. Uh, two extra thick plates on there. You know, we've got a specialty tool. This bushing that we're putting in is actually 3039 so you can see that on our tool. And we're just trying to get those two plates on those two edges. It's not going to take a whole lot of force once we get going but we're going to try to align it best we can. Uh, you may even want to put two C-clamps on your two plates if it's that style. And once we get going, uh, it's less than a ton of force. You can see it's way down there, and we've already broken the bushing loose, and now it's going to drop out of the bottom. So there it is, popped out, no problem. Now we're gonna prep it for the 3039 bushing. This is an IS300 lower control arm. So we're doing this for a customer. We're gonna take this specially formulated Super Pro grease. We're gonna line the inside of the barrel cup. And we're gonna also lubricate the leading edge of the bushing. This one's a little bit trickier because it's a full spool. It's not like a half and half. But on a bushing like this that's seeing a lot of, you know, maybe forward and backward bias, uh, the spool is really the better way to go. So here's a good trick on how to get this in. I've had a lot of people ask me. We're going to do a telescoping style press, which means we're going to support the outside of the bushing so it's got nowhere to deform to. And then we're going to put another tube inside that. Now we're using our fancy... SPC Master Bushing Press Kit, which has a bunch of different steps in, in bushing barrel diameter. But you could do it with like some PVC pipe or maybe just a piece of DOM tube if that's what you got around the shop. And we're just going to drive that guy in. Again, it's not too much force. It may take a couple tries. 
you know, Matt's doing it here. He's done this a lot, so he's got a pretty good technique on how to press it in there. He's just trying to hold that outside barrel and justify it against the arm. And so we've gone as far as we can go. The other side of the spool hasn't quite popped out yet, so you can either try to push it with your hands, and eh, that's not going to work. Just press up against the edge of the press there, pop, goes right through. And then you got a little bit of residual grease, and eh, smooth it around. There's no harm in spreading grease in as many places as you can. So back to the assembly bench. We're going to do a quick lubrication on the inside there. That is where the special crosshatch is that retains our grease. This is what makes Super Pro bushings so fantastic is that they have these features to hold grease in there. Let's get a better look. Oh yeah, check it out. Double helix pattern. That's going to retain the grease. It's going to recirculate it. This is what makes Super Pro the best bushing on the market. Yep, and that's why we love them. Along with the material, of course. Okay, so then it's over to the arbor press. This may look like a table and, uh, I don't know, a steel plate to you if you're pressing all your weight into it. But arbor press, awesome tool. Not that expensive. Gives you a ton of leverage. Makes pushing in that center tube a breeze. And it will have a little bit of grease that it pushed out the back. So go ahead, take that again. Wipe it on the outside surfaces. You're going to need that lube on the outside surfaces anyway when you install it. And there it is. SPF 3039, IS 300, number one bushing installed into this arm. We do sell these replacement arms with bushings pre-pressed into them if you want them. Again, before you install it, now we're going to do that same test that we did before. We're going to put lube on the outside edge of the bushing, though. And we're going to clamp this in our vise and show you the difference of how a polyurethane bushing rotates versus that OEM. So you can see we're, we're bit down. There's no preload on that bushing anymore. It's free to rotate. It's not trying to return back to a place. It's not an undamped spring. It is ready to get the most out of your shock absorbers. So you can see that center tube is not moving. Polyurethane rotates about the center tube. But wait, what's better than that? Spherical bearing. If you're in track type situations. Zero friction has a lot more misalignment. Now we can go fore and aft and the spacers remain fixed in the center, now we have close to 30 degrees of misalignment. So it is rotating not metal on metal, but there is a Teflon liner. This is good if you're adding or subtracting caster, like in our adjustable number two bushings. And also great for those track guys that are really pushing it. You can see it just falls to the ground. There's no resistance in that joint. And we will periodically lubricate it with a dry Teflon lube only. And there you are. Here's the two offerings, polyurethane, spherical bearing, and we carry them both. Uh, we are also a full line Super Pro dealer. So any other bushings that you need, please contact us. We'll give you the best price and service. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving week next week. We'll try to see what videos we'll come out with next. Thanks.